And today I'm going to be showing you guys a day in the life of a uh, med lab scientist in the blood bank. So basically, the blood bank is just like the regular bank where you keep your money and when you need it to go there to collect it. That's what the blood bank is. But you're not keeping money this time, you're keeping blood. And it's such a busy lab. And I am actually the only intern there so i get very busy and because of that this um vlog wasn't filmed in a day actually i used a couple of days to film it because i couldn't film it at a stretch because um situations in the blood bank is usually emergencies and you there can be an emergency and then you're trying to vlog or make a video so i just did them in bits but i'm obviously going to merge them together and hopefully you guys um enjoy the video do well to subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed and um i'm I've, i'm on the road to 800 you guys just help me get to 800 let me reach another milestone you guys so just in case you're watching this video and you've not subscribed you're like should you subscribe because the fact that you're going to help me get to 800 which is going to put a big smile on my face then you should actually subscribe so i hope you enjoyed this video subscribe share comment and all that good stuff and let's just get the video going say i'm the one you saw is it a love mm -hmm. yeah is it a love yeah so is it a love as my breakfast is served uh i hope you guys learned how to make this um delicacy just in case you're tired of the regular bread and egg that we eat every day then this is another way you can prepare it um this person i'm actually preparing i hope it tastes nice too let me just get into eating. I'm already going to walk, but I don't care. I have to make a vlog for you guys. So you guys, I've been soaking a drinking water. I haven't been drinking enough water. So that's why I had to force myself to finish that cup of water. And guys, I am late to work. So let me just rush down. By the way, today is actually Saturday, like Saturday. That's why I had the time to actually even film the intro and all of that introduction. But let me just get to work. I'm so late. having a break I'm going to get something to eat yep 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 the first thing i do every morning when i get to work is tube grouping so what i'm trying to do now is i'm trying to look for all the people who donated blood yesterday and i'm going to arrange out their samples so that i can group their samples using the tube method 
and the tube grouping uses makes use of the washed red cells so i i sorted out a blood group sample of a blood group sample of o and blood group sample of b so i'm going to be washing each of the different blood types using normal saline so what i'm doing is just taking a bit of the blood into the test tube and then i'm going to add normal saline to it and then i'm going to spin that's how washing of red blood cells is done So after spinning it, the red cells are is going to go to the bottom while the normal cell line is going to be at the top. And then I'm going to gently decant it and repeat the process of washing again two more times. So we'll wash the cells for three times and then we get the standard red A, B and O cells. So I'm just going to go ahead and mix equal volume of the serum with equal volume of the standard wash cells. Now this is a donor who came to donate blood. So we first have to screen the patient, the fellow first. And this screening entails the um, checking for microfilaria. But I'm first going to mix the blood in the EDTA bottle to mix with the coagulant, anticoagulant very well. And then I'm going to take a drop put it on a slide and then I go to the microscope and check for the presence of microfilaria. Then I go to check the blood group of the of the donor. So these are the antiseras and this is just the process of checking for the blood group of the patient. The donor rather. The last thing I'm going to do is determine the PCV, pack cell volume, to know if the donor has enough blood to even give out blood to other people. So I'm going to seal it with um, plasticine and then use use the microhematocrit to spin it for five minutes. So this is me just viewing the blood sample to check for the presence of microfilaria. Thankfully, microfilaria was absent. So the PCV of the patient was good. I'm just going to screen for hepatitis B, hepatitis C, syphilis, and HIV. And thankfully, they all um, came out negative with just one line. Now this is a cross-matching bench. So first thing we do when we get the blood from the bank, we we we'll do the regrouping just in case there was a mistake before and then we we'll wash the cells of the patient of the donor we we'll wash it three times like I explained earlier And this washing is to actually remove excess plasma protein. This is me regrouping the, the blood of the donor just in case there was a mistake so that we don't end up use, giving the wrong group to the wrong patient. And then we do the equal volume thing and then we view under the microscope.
that's a typical day in my life in blood bank yeah thank you for watching my video and i'll see you guys in my next video don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed road to 800 subscribers